Hey guys, and happy end of September. So today I'm going to be doing my September favorites, and I decided to rock these white Halloween contacts for you guys because next month is the Halloween season, and I'm getting ready to do all of my Halloween-themed um, makeup looks, so I figured I would wear these contacts for this video. If they scare you, I'm sorry, but if they think that they are freaking awesome, because they are, I will have a link for you down in the description box if you are curious to get these exact same ones. They are just... Um, plain white contacts. They're super creepy, but I really wanted to wear them for my September favorites because I'm super excited about them and I really wanted to wear them. September was a really, really good month as far as things that I have been absolutely loving and I'm really excited to share them with you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So to kick things off for my September favorites, we are going to be totally cliche and have something pumpkin scented. So for those of you who don't like pumpkin scented things, then this one isn't for you, but I have been loving this. So this right here is a candle by Glade, and it is called, what is it called? Pumpkin Pit Stop. It is their fall collection. As you can see, I have totally and completely finished this one. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the best smelling pumpkin candle ever. This is like better than any of the ones at Bath and Body Works. I absolutely love this candle right here. I even bought a second one. So basically, here's what it looks like if you're curious to go buy one. This is what it looks like. And Blade is probably my all-time favorite candle brand of all time, even more than Bath & Body Works. This candle is honestly so scented, like it makes my entire house smell good. Everything just smells like pumpkins and I absolutely love these candles. So this is definitely a first favorite of September and I can't wait to get started on this one because it is now officially going to be October and I'm so excited. Summer is officially over and it looks gorgeous outside. The leaves are changing colors and I absolutely love it. Fall is just the best time of the year because summer sucks. Oh, and if any of you are wondering what I'm wearing on my lips today, it is a super matte liquid lipstick by Le Beau Cosmetique. I hope I'm saying that right, and this is in the color Lexi. They sent me a whole bunch of these liquid lipsticks, so if you guys want to see a full swatch video on them, I will be more than happy to do so. Just go ahead and let me know down in the comment section, and I will do that for you. But I have, I think I have like seven or eight different colors that I can swatch for you guys. So let me know if you want to see that, but I love this color. It's like a really nice kind of mauve pink. It's like a perfect pink for fall. I absolutely love it. The next favorite that I have for my September favorites is a hand cream. If you guys remember from my huge big collective haul that I did, Sebamed sent me a package full of skincare stuff and they also included this hand cream in there. This is a hand and nail balm for sensitive skin. It is deeply moisturizing. It has a pH of 5.5 which is the perfect pH for healthy skin. Um, it absorbs quickly, it's non-greasy, it's hypoallergenic with vitamins v B5, allantonin, and keratin. And oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff is seriously freaking awesome. I use this stuff all the time. It's like halfway gone. I think it's like down to here now. And it's awesome. First of all, the way it smells is probably my all-time favorite thing about it. It just smells so freaking good. And it does say that it's rapidly absorbed and non-greasy. Usually when people put that on their packaging, it's usually not true. But this stuff seriously absorbs super, super quickly. I absolutely love this hand cream. I use it every single day uh, before bed. I use it throughout the day and I use it in the morning. I just love everything about this stuff. So here's what the packaging looks like. If you are interested in buying this, I highly, highly recommend it. It's awesome. Okay, so here's basically what the lotion looks like, and I'm just going to rub it into my hands just to kind of show you, and it feels, oh my gosh, it just feels so freaking good. Oh, if any of you are wondering what this thing is on my ring, it is a ring snuggie. It's supposed to keep the ring tight on my finger because I have super small fingers and my ring is a little too big still, so I have a ring snuggie on it to keep it tightly on my nail. So if you ever see that, that's what that is. So I'm just going to rub that in, and it just, oh. I just love the smell of this stuff. It's like relaxing and I like to like rub it on my nail beds. The next thing that I have for this favorites video is my probably my all time new favorite perfume. Oh my gosh you guys. So a little while ago I did some shopping on Sephora and every time you shop, you shop on Sephora they send you three free samples of anything that you want. Um, like right before you check out there's a screen pops up and it says to pick three things. So that's what I did and I actually ended up picking up this sample right here. It is by Tokyo Milk and it is a perfume. This is the Tokyo Milk Dark Tainted Love and it's just a little tiny sample like that and I remember when when I pulled it out of the packaging and I got a whiff of it I was a goner like I have never smelled anything more amazing in my entire life it smells 
oh my god, it just smells so good. So I became obsessed with the sample, and I decided to go onto Sephora to see if I could find the actual bottle of it, and I did. I went and bought the full-size bottle. So this was 38 $36? 36 or $38 or $38 for the um, big size. And this is, again, uh, the Tainted Love number 62. There is a difference because I think there is, like, um, a couple different kinds of this collection. But this is the one that I like the most. And, oh, my God, it just smells so good. It smells amazing. What it has in it, like, the notes of it is dark vanilla bean, orchid, white tea, and sandalwood. Sandalwood is one of my all-time favorite things to have in perfumes, candles. I just really enjoy that kind of... I just really enjoy that kind of smell, so I had to have this perfume. So glad I bought the big bottle. It's definitely one of my new all-time favorite perfumes. And speaking of perfumes, another one that I've really been kind of enjoying, it actually came in a magazine. It was a little uh, magazine sample, so I took it out and smelled it and didn't really know how I felt about it, and I kept thinking about the smell. I was like, mm, I kind of like that, so I took it out of the magazine and I used it all up. Like, it's totally empty, but I'm keeping the packaging because I might buy the actual bottle, and this is called Alien by, uh, Theory Muggler? I'm not really sure. I'll zoom you in in a second, but this has the most unique smell I've ever smelled in my life. It's a floral, woody, amber perfume, so it just kind of has those scents to it, if that makes any sense to any of you out there, but really, really cool, and I think the bottle looks super kind of cool as well. It just kind of looks like a purple-type bottle, and the name's kind of cool, too. Like, when people ask, oh, what are you wearing? Oh, I'm wearing Alien. So here's what the packaging of the sample looks like. I don't really know how to pronounce her name, but there it is right there. And then there's the name of the perfume. So, all right, and moving on to my next favorite is another sample. A lot of samples in this video today. I'm just really been kind of experimenting and trying out different things. And this is, again, a sample from Sephora when I made an order. And it is, it is actually a makeup product, and this is the Tarte... Um, Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, and it came in a little sample pack like this with all these different colors. It came with um, fairly light neutral, light medium, medium, and tan deep. I've been obsessed with this stuff, and I'm probably going to get the actual creaseless concealer because I have never in my life had a concealer that covered as good as this stuff. And I already finished up the, um, what is it? It's the... Fairly Light Neutral. I already finished that one up next, and the only other color that might work for me is the Light Medium, which is what I'm working on now, and the other two are a little too dark for me, but, you know, I might just use them anyway because I'm obsessed with it. It is super, super high coverage. It covers literally everything. I... I love this stuff so much. Yay for samples. I'm so glad that Sephora does that. It just makes it super, super easy to try out things without spending an arm and a leg to get them and realize you don't like it. So I'm really glad Sephora offers um, the free samples. If you are someone who's never took advantage of that before, I highly recommend that you do because otherwise I would have never been able to discover any of these things that I've been loving this month. So yeah, for sure, definitely recommend checking that out. It's a really, really great concealer. Now moving back into the skincare side of things and moisturizing, I have a Bath & Body Works product, and this is one that I have been... Oh my gosh, it's my new all-time favorite lotion of all time. So I did some Christmas shopping on Bath & Body Works for my sister because she loves Bath & Body Works stuff. So I was in kind of like the sale and clearance section, and I realized that they had a lotion for $6. And it is my all-time, well, not my all-time favorite candle, and probably my second all-time favorite, which is Mahogany Teakwood. Well, they had it in a freaking lotion for 6 bucks. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, look how much of this I've used. Like, it's crazy. And I just got this, like, a couple weeks ago, like, towards almost the beginning of September. And, oh, it's amazing. Oh, my gosh, I love it so much. It smells literally just like the candle. It has a very cologne man-type smell to it, but at the same time, it's kind of feminine. The key notes in this are mahogany, teakwood, white oak, delicate lavender, and geranium. So it has a lot of the scents that I really, really enjoy. And this stuff makes your clothes smell good, it makes your sheets smell good when you go to bed, it makes your body nice and soft, and it makes you smell good. So I really like this. This has like become a after shower ritual for me is using this lotion right here. It's seriously, it's phenomenal. I was going to get the body wash as well, but I unfortunately cannot use Bath & Body Works um, body washes anymore because I have noticed that they do make me break out really, really bad with cystic acne. If you don't know what cystic acne is, it's those really big under the skin painful 
zits. I know TMI, it's really gross, but their, their body washes just make me break out really, really bad, so I can't wear them anymore, but luckily their lotions do not, so I am able to use those. And one of the last favorites that I have for my September favorites before we, of course, move on to some songs that I've been loving is another skincare product, and that is a Deep Pore Cleansing Clay by Anthony. Again, bought off Sephora. I've been, like, addicted to Sephora. You know, that should be a September favorite in its own. Sephora.com has been a September favorite of mine for sure this month. I have been spending so much money on there. I don't know what my problem is. But anyway, um, so I was on the skincare section, and I really wanted something to deep clean my pores because I am someone who has really, really big pores, pores that get really dirty really easily, and it gets really kind of noticeable. Um, it's just really gross. So I saw this one, and it is a deep pore cleansing clay, uh, normal to oily skin. It's paraben-free, so it's good for you. Um, it doesn't have any of those like harsh, nasty chemicals in it, and it was $25 on Sephora, which is really, really expensive, but you get a pretty good amount in here. You get three fluid ounces of mask in here. But yeah, let me tell you about this stuff, because this stuff does not fuck around. Like, this stuff will clean your damn pores. But I kid you not, the first time I ever used this stuff, I was like freaking the fuck out, because I applied a great majority of it to my nose and on my cheeks, because that's where my pores are the biggest, and that's where I see them the most. So I applied a great amount of that um, like in this general area and I doubted the power of this stuff because when I first put it on like the first three seconds it literally felt like someone dipped my face into a bowl of boiling water like I was on fire so word of warning this will burn the shit out of your face for about three seconds um, but I promise it didn't like irritate my skin or anything like that I mean it felt like it was going to I even rinsed it off right away because I was so afraid it was gonna like you know, burn my skin, but it really wasn't a big deal. It went away after like literally three seconds. It really wasn't a big deal. And I left it on for about 10 minutes and I rinsed it off and I have never seen my pores more clear. Like I look like a brand new baby. Like that's how clean my pores were. Like it was, it was amazing. So this stuff works fabulous. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, it has no parabens, no blah, 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 blah. It has all these big words that I can't really pronounce, but, and then it also says a portion of the proceeds from the sale of this product is donated to prostate cancer research. So if any of you are interested in that and you want some of your money to go to a good cause, there you go. But, um, I haven't used it in a while, which I probably should because my pores are looking a bit gross. Okay, now moving on to some songs that I have been enjoying this month. One of them, actually two of them, are songs, no, fuck that, all three of them are songs that I never, ever thought I would like. Like, never in a million years. So, if you guys remember, I think it was August, I'm pretty sure it was August, Pandora uh, Radio was in my favorites, like the app, the Pandora app, I'm sure you all have heard of it or have it on your phone, but... I would listen to Rock Hits, that's like my all-time favorite Pandora station, is the Rock Hits radio, and every time, like, I would be either doing my makeup or, you know, doing something or just listening to music, every time a song would come on and it had a specific sound to it, every single time, I kid you not, every single time I went and looked to see who the artist was, it was always Three Doors Down. I have never liked Three Doors Down before, I've never listened to them before, never. So when I saw the artist over and over and over, every time I went to go thumb it up, it was always Three Doors Down. So little did I know, I'm actually a huge fan of Three Doors Down. I love all of their songs. This one particular song I am obsessed with. It means, it kind of has like a deep meaning to me, and it's just a really powerful song, and I really, really like it. And it is called um, Away From The Sun by Three Doors Down, obviously, and it's just... Oh, I'm like getting goosebumps just like thinking about it. It's just such a deep, powerful song. It's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys. And if you are interested, I highly recommend that you check out the music video as well. I will try to link that down in the description box as well. But the music video in itself is super, super powerful. <laughs> Okay, I'm like gonna cry. Like, I freaking love that song so much. Like, my hair is standing up. I got goosebumps. Like, that song is just amazing. I don't know. I've been trying to figure out, like, what it means to me and, like, the meaning to me, but it's just such a powerful song. And every time I hear it, I'm like, <gasps> like, oh 
oh my god, it's amazing. So yeah, I'm actually a huge, huge fan of Three Doors Down. I didn't even know it, but thanks to Pandora, I am. Next two songs are songs that I definitely did not expect myself to like because I am not a fan of Selena Gomez or Justin Bieber for that matter. However, I did not watch the VMAs this year, but I was scrolling through the channels and by the time I got to MTV, Justin Bieber was performing. He hasn't performed at the VMAs in quite a long time and he was performing his new song, What Do You Mean? And out of what I've heard from the VMAs and what I've seen, like pictures and stuff, he had hands down the best performance of the night. And I'm not even a fan of Justin Bieber. That song and his performance just made me addicted to that song. So <laughs> Justin Bieber's new song, What Do You Mean, has become my new favorite song of the month and I really enjoy it. I play it constantly. It's super catchy and the lyrics to it are also kind of sexy as well. So I've just, I love it. I love that song. I'm totally not ashamed to admit it either. That song's freaking awesome. So, thumbs up, Justin Bieber. You killed it. All right, and then as you heard me just a minute ago mention Selena Gomez and how I'm not a fan of her at all, this next song you probably all know it, and that is Good For You, her new song. Girl, oh my gosh, she. So this song is basically um, sex in a song, basically. Uh, the lyrics are pretty graphic, but um, I love it. I think it's a really hot song. Uh, I do feel a little awkward watching the music video, all because she has such a baby face. It feels like I'm watching a 12 year old roll around on the ground naked, almost. Like, it's just really awkward. I've been listening to that and What Do You Mean and Away From The Sun on repeat literally all month. They have just been my favorites. I'm gonna play it for you guys, because I love it. Yes, you like skin tight, when my hair grew real nice. I think I'll pay less, I just wanna look good for you, good for you, uh-huh. I just wanna look good for you, good for you, uh-huh. Yep. That's what that song's about, but I love it. It's so hot. Like, you know how, okay, girls, let's, let's all be truthful right now. Let's all have a moment. You all have that one song where you're like in the shower or you're like in your room by yourself and you're just like, yeah, I'm a fucking stripper. That's that song to me, you know. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I mean, come on girls, we all have that one song that makes us feel like a stripper. Just, you know, yeah. Okay guys, so that is everything that I have for my September 2015 favorites. Hopefully I didn't creep you out too much with these eye contacts. And make sure you stay tuned to my channel because my Halloween looks are going to be starting very, very soon. Um, if, again, if you want to have a link to these contacts, I will have them down in the description box. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you have been loving this month. I would love to know. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys! This is really creepy. I wonder how many people are gonna unsubscribe because I scared the shit out of them. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. I didn't mean to scare you.